Hey everybody, Paul here with the Stream Geeks, and in this video, we're looking at VMix 28 Beta. Check out some of these cool features that are coming out. This is the new VMix Beta. We've got instant replay running here, and we've got a Telestrator, so I can actually draw on the live video with a touch screen that I have here in front of me. Check out this touch screen. This is running the VMix Telestrator. Not only does this Telestrator give me live video preview wirelessly on a touch screen, but it gives me the ability to annotate on top with all of these cool tools for changing colors and doing cool things. It also allows me to have buttons down here. So I can actually like control the video in my instant replay. So for example, I can go over here and I can actually rewind, stop, and telestrate on top of video wirelessly. So this is just like mind boggling. This is included in vMix 4K. It's included in vMix Pro and vMix Max. So I wanna go over all my favorite features of vMix 28. This is the beta. So we've got it running on our kind of non-production PC just as it's working through any kinks that the beta has, but let's jump into it. So number one in our you know, tour here is the Telestrator. And the Telestrator needs to be set up in the settings area. So you'll see in the web controller here, this is an IP address that vMix serves up on your local area network. You can connect to it with any web browser on any computer on your local area network. Now, um, one of the things here you'll see is that we have the Telestrator enabled here. And we can choose a video source to use with the Telestrator. I have output two here. And you can see that we're allowing it to be accessible over the network. Now you can set a password for this Telestrator, which might be smart if you're at a school or a corporate location just to, for security purposes. But you can see here, now that the Telestrator is enabled, you can add an input for the Telestrator. And I've done that already. So I've got this input here and I have it set up for overlay four. So I can very easily start to annotate on top of video with my Telestrator. And this right here is just a simple Google Chrome browser bringing up the Telestrator. Now, one of the cool things I found out about the Telestrator is that you can also have 10 buttons down here at the bottom. And one of the things we've really wanted to do is to create a really great like sports streaming system here, especially for like coaches to be able to look at wirelessly. And that's what this does. So we've got a play button here, a pause button here, a rewind button. So we can literally rewind an instant replay, find the area that we are looking at. And then as a coach or as a referee, you can actually telestrate on the video to notate you know, what part of an instant replay uh, you wanna look at. So this is just such a cool uh, feature here. We've got the ability to change our colors. So we can change the color we're using for our telestration. I'll probably pick a nice bright yellow is great. I'm gonna keep it on that. But you can see here, lots of different options for colors. We have the ability to pick the, like, the thickness of the lines. We have some shapes here, so we can you know, do some of the really cool shapes, circles. I'm going to clear all this. Obviously, you can clear everything and reset. You can also drop images. So uh, you can see here that you can, once you load up an image, you can drop these down uh, and do some really cool things. I, didn't even, I haven't even played with this yet, and it looks like there's some really cool images uh, for marking different parts of a stream. Great for coaching, great for recording videos, and you know, starting off. So these are some of those numbered options. I really like these little uh, areas here for, bring, you know, highlighting different areas with a horseshoe-shaped uh, glow. And so, just to give you an idea, that's they, they've done a really good job. There's some hi highlighting tools. I'm going to clear this. Now, on the bottom, as I said, you've got, you can do whatever you want with these shortcuts. So it's very customizable. We're going to be looking into creating like the perfect Telestrator with shortcuts for sports streaming. 
And actually, I want to show you, I've got the X keys. Um, I have the X keys instant replay controller for VMix right in front of me here. Let me move this over. Uh, and this is an awesome device. It's designed for a four camera instant replay system. And I've got my little jog dial for scrubbing through instant replay video here. So you can see I can literally scrub directly to the area of interest. And once I've scrubbed to the spot that I want, now I can do my telestration. So this is just so powerful for sports, for all types of instruction, especially if you're looking at slow motion instant replay. Um, we've got a T-bar for controlling the uh, speed. So as I'm playing back an instant replay, if I hit the play button here, I can change the speed of the slow motion. Now, when you're doing slow motion instant replay, just a tip here, you usually want to have at least 60 frames per second uh, so that you have nice, smooth instant replay. In fact, this footage right here is of a tennis match where we were using the PTZ Optics Move 4K auto tracking cameras. So the cameras were auto tracking. Uh, you can see what we were using here. This is a Move 4K camera auto tracking the tennis players. And so just really cool, you know, what we're seeing from an instant replay, auto tracking cameras, slow motion, telestration, all with PTZ Optics and VMix together. And then the X keys instant replay controller. Just a really powerful system that you can run on any Windows computer. So wanted to share all of that. There's still a couple extra things that I think are really cool with the brand new VMix 28 beta. We talked about the Telestrator. We also have the ability to do five streams now. So we can stream to five locations at the same time. Uh, really, really powerful. Uh, awesome opportunity to you know get rid of maybe a restream subscription for example and stream to five destinations at once additionally we have more statistics that we can look at including encoder um, statistics so you can really look at if you're dropping any frames in your instant replay or other setups um, so that is our instant replay setup here and our statistics then we also have, for those of you power users here, we have a new ability to do a second multi-view. Uh, so you can have multiple multi-views here and you can customize the layout. So if you don't want to see the preview, you just want to see inputs, you can really customize your multi-views now that you're using. And of course, the multi-view can be turned on with your full screen button there. That's a full screen output. But if we were to choose the multi view, now we've got our full screen multi view here as well, just giving you an idea of some of these dynamic situations in VMix. So now that we can, I'm just show this as an example here. Now that we can customize this multi view, I can go ahead and say, all right, well, I want it to be inputs instead of outputs. And I want to change the way, you know, this is set up and click OK, and now this output can change. So instead of it being preview output, we've got some other things there. The other thing I'll mention is uh, when you're doing instant replays, uh, stingers have always been super popular for transitioning into an instant replay. Um, just to give you an idea of how that's set up in case you're new to instant replays, stingers are generally set up as a image sequence with vmix and we have some videos on that i can link to below but yeah that is why vmix 28 is super exciting i got a brand new book called how to live stream sports like a pro that i wanted to link to below here um this book is going to cover a lot of the things that you should be thinking about if you're live streaming sports particularly this book is awesome you can download it below let me know what you think about the vmix 28 beta and we're always here to chat. You can email me at paul at streamgeeks.us. See you in the next video.